Now go murder me in the comments. And while you go to the comments, subscribe, like, leave us a shitty comment. We love it. Share it with your friends how terrible we are. Um, go to buy a bit. Go to buy a bit. Yeah, sign up. Get your extra. I mean, deposit 100. Get 20 for free. Take the 100 off and send the 100. Uh, I don't know. But buy q and and send it to us. Ethereum address is also in the description. Well, that was shameless. I shouldn't be drinking wine on the show. What do you think, guys? Let me know. Uh, this is, by the way, a really cheap wine. It's like eight euros a bottle. It's called um, Mucho Mas. And I got it from my dad. And I like I it. Anyway, last week we spoke because um, sentiment was terrible. And apparently a lot of people are looking at selling their q and and getting into different points. And I made the case, we made the case that most of you guys are not being honest, right? What do I mean by that? So Tim uh, and I, uh, we speak often, as you guys know, and we found Tao at like 30, 40. We got introduced it maybe a little bit sooner. Um, yeah, 30, 40, and, something like that, 25 yeah. even. Yeah, yeah. I bought back then, Tim didn't, and then I sold and I bought. Uh, it's, a, it's a horror story. Anyway, Tao is up. There's no denying that. But it's a good example because a lot of people know about Tao within the quant community. So you probably know. Um what I was trying to help you guys realize is that if you want to compare the hypothetical, what if I had sold my quant when I found Tau at X price? <clears throat> There's a way to do that. And um, we made our, public, our, our portfolio public. So if you look for the woulda, coulda, shoulda, portfolio you can see it on screen would it could have shoulda i changed the spelling since the last show um you can find this this portfolio so 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 what did we do here let's go to tau bit tensor first right so um we went to the tau token we looked it up we added it to our portfolio now you can do that by clicking in tao and you click on it, and when you click on it, you get to this page, and then underneath the price and the 24-hour range of its trading range, you can add it to your portfolio. As soon as you did that, it will show up in your portfolio, as you can see right here underneath the new, very interesting pie diagram, your performance on a regular uh, histogram style. Um, and you can then go to BitTensor and then you can either click on the three dots for more actions or you can click on the plus to add a transaction. If you click on the plus for a transaction, you can then add the amount of Q, uh, how you want to buy, price per coin, total spent, and on what day. So what you want to do first, if you want to go back in time, time travel, and then maintain the woulda, coulda, shoulda portfolio. Yeah, what woulda, coulda, shoulda it have been. Is add your Q&T first, right? We took a fictive amount of 100 Q&T to begin with. If I click on more actions and I click at look at transactions, we show transactions. Mine is in Dutch, sorry for that. You can see that we started out with 100 q &T, which we bought for a 65.99. And we spent a total of 6,599 euros. And the average profit and loss right now is plus 1,863. But on May 21st, we were like, I need to go get me something else. And, and, and what I did, I sold at 90 euros on May 21st. Then Q and T. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to buy 
Tau. So I went to Tau. I first checked the quant price for the same day. So let's say I want to buy Tau on May 10th. Okay, what was the price for Tau on May 10th? That's one. What was the price for Q&T at May 10th? And then you're going to match those two. So if you want to buy a thousand euros worth of BitTensor, you need to sell a thousand euros worth of Q&T, hypothetically, for the price at that exact date and time. Yeah. If you do that, you can then in hindsight create your portfolio. And there's no educational benefit whatsoever, only ego if you fuck yourself over with it. So be honest, right? Because now we're talking about did BitTensor. We all know it went up. Yeah, you can do the same with Pepe. And you can dream yourself to be a, a super trader. Um, but you're just, you, you're just, how do you say fucking, fuck with yourself. So what, what we did is we bought some BitTensor. And uh, we were like, okay, that was the only thing that I actually would have, could have, should have got for my QMT. So I spent 10 QMT on that. Then I got myself some yo yo. Yeah, yo yo, uh, meme coin, boss created. And uh, it's, 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 it's a really fun thing. A fair launch, it's meme coin, all uh, no dumping shenanigans, whatever. Um, but we bought a bunch. We bought a bunch. We bought about 10 QMT worth. Worth 900 euros. It's currently up uh, 133 uh, euros. We added that. So this portfolio is now current. And that means I still have 80 QNT in this. And every time, this is a hypothetical portfolio, right? This is no real money. Um, this is just hypothetical. In your case, if you have a private portfolio, you can put in your actual Q and T stack. Let's say you bought in 2018, 2019, and you bought 10,000 Q and T. You can hypothetically just sell 3,000 Q and T, throw it into Pepe, and then you can see over time how well you would have done if you actually created that portfolio, which is really cool because you can then actually compare oranges and oranges. Like, yeah, motherfucker, now I bought that and 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 they did that, and now I made this much money if I would have actually done it. And if you're doing well, and a bull run is not a very good time to, to measure this, but if you did well, you can maybe, if you decide, okay, I, I made like 10 picks, and all 10 picks out of 10 were winners, maybe you got a gut feeling, maybe you have this nice little magic going on. Some people yeah. fucking have that. They know how to research shit and how to make money. If you have that, you can you you can find it with this, but a lot of a lot of you people think you have that because you're like yeah no I would have bought that I would have bought that, but nobody puts actual actual skin in the game and now you can put some some hypothetical skin in the game, but you can actually see your real stack diminish because a lot of people are sitting on the Q and T which is fine right not financial advice but we endorse that, <laughs> um, but if you, if you have like like a couple of K of those things. And you're like, okay, I want to play around a bit. Play just, around. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm it's clear a out the bottle. bad idea to do this because well, many people, especially uh, we came up with this experiment in the, uh, one of the Dutch groups and um, people were whining about the fact that they could have done something else. And... Um, Sure, you could, right? There's, there's always this Whining? possibility. There's always this possibility <laughs> to, to, to do something else and, and and invest your money in another asset. But would you realistically have done that at that point, right? Because you always make the decisions that you make based on the information that you have at that point in time. So, yes. if you really doubt about something and you're like, ah, let's let's not do it for whatever reason you could still theoretically use this experiment okay then just do it hypothetically and then see how it plays out and if you really seem to have a very good feeling for making those plays 
why not take the gamble the next time? Because if, well, if you seem to gamble correctly all the time, then you might want to gamble with, with real money. Or if Be it careful. turns out really badly, then you know, uh, maybe you shouldn't touch it. Be careful. Don't gamble while you're whining. Yeah, yeah, yeah.